for Beth's weak right hand grip, we just gave her a feeling that her right hand was a little bit more strong or underneath the grip. The line formed by the right thumb and forefinger points more at the right shoulder. Now in Beth's posture, we got her tailbone a little bit more high or up and out towards the sky and gave her the picture that her belt buckle is going to be angled a little bit more down towards the ball. Much less knee flex. We only gave her, giving her enough knee flex to feel a slight pressure in the thighs. She's also now creating a better balance line where the back of the right shoulder, the front of the right knee forms a straight line into the ball of her right foot. Her weight is now set in the balls of her feet which helps her swing the club up properly and in front of her during the backswing. With this better grip and posture, she is much more able now to have a consistent initial part of the move away. One of the main reasons after grip and posture why Beth's glove got very much around her and flat as you saw in film is that she had a one piece move away. In other words, her arms, club, and body turned and swung back together. Now in order to combat, the, combat this, to counteract and change this, we gave her a picture that her belt buckle and her shirt buttons will be pointed at the ball for as long as possible, just as the club and arms swing back. Beth is a very visual learner. In order to counteract and change Beth's downswing tendency, I gave her the picture that her left shoulder her left hip and her left knee stay pointed well right of the target line as she initially dropped her hands behind her right hip. So I wanted to give her the feeling that the club and arms initially swung down before her body started turning. Now her arms, club and body are in sync and primed to continuously swing and rotate through to the target. 